Today is Easter Tuesday and today I'd like to share with you a 40 year old memory that I have of my work as a priest. I'm going to read it because I, I felt I had to write this down uh, early this morning and um, I think it's if I read it I've got it as concise as I possibly can. It's a treasured memory. 40 years ago the intensive care unit at the Royal Liverpool Hospital was a relatively new concept. It was on the sixth floor, on the top floor. I quickly fell in love with the staff there to see the skill and dedication, simply keeping people alive. Very few words were spoken, but I soon realised that they much appreciated my visits, even if it was only to make them a cup of tea and be there in difficult situations. I was kept awake all last night thinking of one particular situation in that unit, a heartwarming memory as I share with everyone who was there. It was the Saturday evening and the staff were handing over to the night shift. There was just one patient, Jim, who'd been there for three weeks and with about 14 staff from consultants to theatre technicians. They were all in a stressful state. Their anxiety was tangible. We've tried our very best, said the consultant, but that's not enough. We've exhausted every avenue, but we think we've come to the end. I felt exactly the same. The young man had never regained consciousness since he'd arrived. He was also a single man. He'd never even had any visitors. But his personality had emerged and each of the staff had cared for him particularly the girls, had all fallen in love with him. Then someone then asked, to my surprise, can we say a prayer? My father's surprise was that they all enthusiastically agreed. I was lost for words, literally, but they were the ones who needed the support. The following two minutes will linger with me for the rest of my life. Let's pray for Jim, I said, but also let's pray for everyone here tonight. I've now forgotten the simple words I used, and they were very few. And I finished by inviting all of them, all of us, to say the Lord's Prayer. There was then a total silence, and a very awkward pause followed. Then one of the senior nurses blurted out, I don't think Jim's a Catholic, you know, Tom. Then, in anger, one of the theatre technicians replied, What does that matter, he said. We're all so-so Christians for Jesus' sake. They all then turned to me. I couldn't put it better myself, I said. That broke the ice. They all burst out laughing. It was a unique moment. A moment of unity and it brought out the best of human nature. We were really a united unit that night. A unit that saved in the future many other lives in the years to come. It was a unit that had an unbroken and unspoken bond. We all need prayers and especially for carers. I'd like to finish with the prayer of St Francis. Father, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon, doubt, faith, despair, hope, darkness, light. Father, and that grant that I may never so much seek to be consoled as to console, to understand as to be understood, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in dying that we are born to eternal life. Happy Easter.